It was like that all the time, in those years, an endless trip, a gaudy voyage. But powers decay. Time leeches the colors from the best of visions. The world becomes grayer. Entropy beats us down. Everything fades. Everything goes. Everything dies. Three rules for literary success, 1. Read a lot. 2. Write a lot. 3. Read a lot more, write a lot more. There are true unseen forces, but not nearly so many as we believe, nor would they rule us so sternly if we did not admit them to our souls. We would not be assailed half so often by devils, had we not taken the trouble to invent so many of them. Thus does the unyielding, inescapable future ineluctably devour the present. Utopias are boring. Dystopias on the other hand, are interesting. One defining symptom of decadence is a fondness for vast and nonsensical extravagance. To devote oneself to vigilance when the enemy is an imaginary one is idle, and to congratulate oneself for looking long and well for a foe that is not coming is foolish and sinful. My life has been a waste. When you know that something is dying inside you, you learn not to put much trust in the random vitalities of the fleeting moment. We are born by accident into a purely random universe. Men of great spirit are at high risk at a time when small souls rule the world. Autobiography Apparently one should not name the names of those one has been to bed with, or give explicit figures on the amount of money one has earned, those being the two data most eagerly sought by readers, all the rest is legitimate to reveal. Ignorance can't be pardoned. Only cured. Unacceptable, maybe. But not unthinkable. Nothing's unthinkable once somebody's thought it. Living, we fret. Dying, we live. I'll keep that in mind. I'll be of good cheer. It has been suggested that Tip Tree is female, a theory that I find absurd, for there is to me something ineluctably masculine about Tip Tree's writing. I don't think the novels of Jane Austen could have been written by a man nor the stories of Ernest Hemingway by a woman, and in the same way I believe the author of the James Tip Tree stories is male. The denizens of citizen service houses are not, as a rule, gifted with a lot of common sense, but they often make up for that by being extremely argumentative and vindictive. I hate no one, sir. It seems a waste of emotional energy. Aristocrats might shrug, but commoners, dreading any collapse of the social order, wanted the rules of behavior to be observed. My temperament is not inclined toward more self-promotion than is absolutely necessary for my professional well-being. Who could not return from a visit to Jack Vance's world, without feeling that he had been somewhere unique, that he had experienced things unavailable in our mundane world? Having lost our present and our future, we had of necessity to bend all our endeavors to the past, which no one could take from us if only we were vigilant enough. I find the world and all it contains extremely fascinating. Is this sinful? Stale is stale and borrowed is borrowed no matter how original your models may have been.